I'm back. So just also want to respond to a couple questions that people gave me. And that they were really good questions and it and they were from really big big hunters. Um, large hunters who um, like hunting and they they're really depressed so I they asked me if people who are big and like to hunt a lot are allowed to be signing up for an inspirational email um, I want to say to you guys, because I'm reading your letter right here, and it just brings absolutely yes. Everyone deserves to be inspired, even really large hunters. There's nothing um, embarrassing about being inspired every single day. Um, there's nothing girly. It doesn't make you a douchebag without a hole. Just because you have a smile in the inside doesn't mean that you can't scowl on the outside. So I just wanted to throw that out there and respond because I'm always going to be here to respond with people who want to be inspired. Unless, of course, I die. I got another email today, just just now, actually. Um, it goes a little like this. Hi, Ava. I, I signed up for an email, and I feel really inspired since I got it. But I've never really felt inspired before, and this feeling is really scary. I feel like there was this cold block of ice inside my heart. And now that it's melting, I'm afraid that when everyone will see the puddles of water all over by my feet, and they'll think I peed my pants because I look so happy. Um, first of all, that's probably kind of an exaggeration. Um, people, pro you probably don't actually have puddles of water from your melting heart and if you do have puddles of water a um, you probably did pee yourself um, and B maybe your water broke in that case either way you should consider making a doctor's appointment because there's a lot of people out there who will tell you if you're inspired nothing will go wrong and you never need to go to the doctor, but that's not true. People around here say that if you start peeing yourself, you should go to the doctor, unless you did it on purpose for, for your friends, because sometimes it's funny. Um, but I just think you can use your judgment, but if you're writing to me about it, that um, maybe it is a problem, you know? Maybe it is. So I'm. A, so it's feels good to be inspired. That's all we're saying. And you shouldn't be afraid to feel good. Not today. Okay. So I just got another email from someone. Apparently, I'm becoming like this inspiration expert because all I did was try to fulfill my dream and have like a little email where I send out quotes and little stories but apparently now I have like some type of duty to ask your inspiration questions so here's another one um, let's see this one says dear Ava expert of inspiration extraordinaire Esquire exquisite how how did they know my name? Okay, so, hold on, what did this one say again? Oh, yeah. This one says, Dear Ava, 
I signed up for your email yesterday. I'm one of the proud chosen few, and I know that it will pay off. But I have a question. I signed up for your email, and I love it so much. I just want to know, how often am I going to get this email? Hmm? How many times am I going to get it? When can I expect your call, basically? Okay, what I have to say is simple, okay? And it says that I will email inspiration when I feel like it, okay? Because I'm no inspiration slave, okay? Or to your mother. I work for free. So, thanks for asking. And you can expect to get more and more inspiration, as I do. And as always, some type of traumatic event always inspires some type of backlash where it's necessary to increase the amount of inspiration being produced. So don't set me up, people. Okay? Talk to you later.